So I, I go down paths that haven't been traveled before, and I usually mess up. But I learn, you know what I'm saying? I come back stronger. You know, I'm not talking ignorant, you know what I'm saying? So I obviously put thought into what I do. Um, so I think my mouth, my controversy. I've, I have not been out of the papers since I've been, since I joined Digital Underground. I've been in all, you know what I'm saying? It's never, my name has not been not uttered, you know what I'm saying? And that's good for me because I don't want to be forgotten. And if I'm forgotten, then that means I'm comfortable. And that means I think everything is okay. What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? So this video is about Tupac Shakur, one of my favorite rappers. I've been to uh, the location where sadly he was murdered. I've been to his mother's house in Atlanta. I'll put some links below to that. This, where I am, is a nondescript warehouse facility right between Reseda and uh, Tarzana. Reseda's that way. Tarzana is that way. And right here, just just through here was a former location of Death Row Records. Yeah, right here in this little building. Crazy. In 1991, I believe it was, Suge Knight got Dre out of his contract with Jerry Heller and Eazy-E for Ruthless, uh, Ruthless Records. And they started up Death Row Records. And it was called Can-Am Studios at the time. And they took it over and they built an empire right in here. Now, I'm not sure exactly when they left, but they left and they opened up uh, Death Row Records over on Wilshire here in LA. But that's just a big giant hospital. And this I can go right up to and show you the door. And I'll tell you a little bit about the history of Death Row Records as well. And Tupac Shakur was in here. Now, I looked all over, I scoured the internet for photos of Tupac outside. But all I could find was ones inside. And I have him inside and, and other photos of uh, what it looked like. But yeah, it's really cool. That's the entrance all the way there. That's Oxnard Street. So it's really just drive by. You would never know how much music history happened right behind these walls. Let's take a look. Then we're going to go somewhere really cool. Well, you probably read the title. So it's Tupac's former house. Yeah. All right. Let's go. So you would come in this driveway, just like I did. Drive all the way by. And it used to be right there. Let's get it out of the sun a little bit. Come on. There we are. That's the sweet spot. Right there. This was where Can Am Studio was. Now it was also 211. It took up this whole part. And it's still a recording studio, and that's where you enter from that side. If you have permission to be inside. I didn't ask. I didn't think. Well, right now with COVID 19. It's a little difficult to get inside. Oh, but if you look here, this uh, old bike here says Can-Am on it right there. So I guess whoever owns that bike worked or works for Can-Am. So it's definitely a pilgrimage for uh, Tupac fans, Dre fans, just West Coast hip hop. This, this little building right here is where so much, so much of our, uh, the music we love was produced and made right in here. Death Row Records, uh, they had two security guards. One with, uh, I believe one going into the record studio, one in the front door, and they had a wand for a metal detector, but the artist did not have to be wanded before they went in. Just visitors. There's a lot of hip hop history here in the, uh, in the valley that people uh, probably don't know about. Like, I think it was maybe all done down in uh, in Compton or maybe on like Santa Monica where there's lots of recording studios, but no, a lot of hip hop history right here. I don't know what's going on with that chair, but I did notice, well now, you know, I've seen around back, there's a lot of those like office chairs just sitting out in front. I guess people want to chill and relax, but yeah. Look for that sign 212, because the Can-Am sign used to be right there and you can see the holes in the wall where it would have been right there and I did just take a look inside it's all blacked out you can't see anything but yeah from what I know it's still a recording studio but yeah this is it this is where Tupac Dre all here
What was the first single released by Death Row Records? Pop quiz. Deep cover from the Deep Cover soundtrack. That's it. All right, let's go to Tupac's house. How cool is that to say? You're coming along with me. We're gonna go see where Tupac Shakur lived. I love the way you activate your hips and push your ass out. Got a brother bone this so bad I'm about to pass out. Wanna dig you? And I can't even lie about it, baby. Just alleviate your clothes. I'm the fly about it. Catch you at the club. Your hips have got me feeling body tough and quick to me, but I can't comprehend the meaning. Now, if you wanna roll with me, then here's your chance to win 80 on the freeway. Catch me if you can. But give me, I'm a rider. Still, I'm just a simple man. All I want is money plus the fame. I'm a simple man. Mr. International. Player with the Passport, just like a Latin switch, get you anything you ask for. Either him or me, the champagne, Hennessy, favor of my homies when we cross on our enemies. Witness as we creep to a low speed, beat what my foes need. Make some mojis, funk you don't need. Approaching women with the passion, but a long day. But I've been driven by attraction in a strong way. Your body is banging, baby. I love the way you're flowing. It's time to give it to daddy, sugar. Now tell me how you want it. First time a day to film this, the light is very, very bad. This is Tupac's house right here. The dogs are barking. Tupac bought this house. Uh, well, he bought the land first, I think for $250,000 in 1994. Then after his death in 96, it sold for 920000 So he had this house built. This was custom built for Tupac Shakur. And there's security cameras everywhere. It sold a few times since. Last time it sold was um, 2017. But yeah, this is Tupac's house right here. Wow. So now after recording this video, I read that it was actually owned by a couple that was already built and then it was rented out by Death Row Records for Tupac and he lived there until the time of his death and he was in the process of purchasing it. Tupac installed slot machines and video games and the garage fits 15 cars. There's a driveway going up and there's a house right there. Very, very cool. Amazon Prime is gonna pass. Interesting. Yeah. This is Woodland Hills, right in the Santa Monica Mountains. And uh, it's about a 15 minute drive. I showed you part of it. It's about a 15 minute drive from the um, studio, Death Row Studios. Not too far. But as you can see, it's got a lot of big windows. Beautiful house. And I'll show you some aerial views of it too. What it looks like. But that's a cool driveway. There's two box mailbox. And that looks, that looks like it's been around since the 90s. How cool is that, that driveway? Love it. And there you go, Tupac Shakur's house. Same house. This is it. This is where he was living when he sadly was killed. Now, of course, he was killed in Las Vegas, and I've been to that location. I think I mentioned that. Uh, so I would never, not to mislead you, he was not killed at this property, no but this is where he was living. This was the property he owned right here. Beautiful, beautiful grounds. Like It's incredible up here. I did, I've never been up this far into Woodland Hills. I always knew this house was here, but didn't never got a chance to kind of cover it. And it reminds me a lot of the Hollywood Hills. They're very windy, twisty roads. And just like the Hollywood Hills, you can hear a pin drop. How cool is that? You said, hey, I just want to be alive. That's real for you. That's so real. I can't, I made a metamorphosis. I'm a new person today. Because I used to strongly and honestly, honestly, I feel like I could represent my generation so much because I honestly did not care whether I lived or died. But now, I cannot die. I can't leave until this is straight. You know, I'm not suicidal. I'm not, I can't go until y'all really know what time it is. And then after that, boom, it's all over. And we can see, you know, how this shit fall. But that's how it is. And the reason being is because if I can't live free, if I can't live with the same respect as the next man, I don't want to be here. Because God has cursed me to see what life should be like. All right, so that's it for my video about Tupac Shakur, his house here in the Woodland Hills, and uh, Death Row Records. Wow. Always want to see this house in person. Here I am. And I'm glad you're along with me. If you're a Tupac fan, this is it, man. This is, this is Tupac's. This is Tupac's house. This is his dream house that he had built. Look. Really close to Death Row, yeah. Death Row Studios. All right. Let's get this sun out of the way. 
Hope you like this video. If you like uh, what you see, subscribe. It just all you have to do is click. Just click. Just go. Just like a. That's it. And you subscribe. It helps me. It helps you. I don't know if it helps you. But if you like, it's a lot of positive love and energy from me to you. If you subscribe. Am I laying on too thick? I never say subscribe. So now I'm saying it at the end of the video. If you stuck around this long, subscribe. I appreciate it. All right, love you all. Peace. Out. I see no changes. All I see is racist faces. Misplaced hate makes disgrace to racist. We under.